Greetings ladies and gentlemen, Digger Jones here once again and today I want to bring you a series of videos for a game that is very near and dear to my heart. What you see here is Classic EverQuest. It is being played on an emulated server known as Project 1999, or P99 for short. This is a server that strives in many ways to recreate the classic adventures of Norath from the game's launch in 1999 up to the release of the Velius expansion. This is the point that the developers of P99 have chosen to stop because it is their belief that the Luckland expansion was the beginning of the end for what made EverQuest such a great game. That is, of course, hotly debated, and you may or may not agree. However, that is what the owners and developers of Project 1999 have decided. If you are interested in experiencing one of the progenitors of modern MMOs, and in my opinion, still one of the best games ever created, there will be links in the description down below. So, to kick things off, I wanted to start with a bit of a tutorial that will show you how to copy your UI layout from one character to another. As many current players of P99 will no doubt be aware, one of the biggest drawbacks to creating new characters in Classic EverQuest is having to rearrange your interface each and every time. What you see here is the default UI layout that will greet each new character upon entering the world, and it is butts. Uh, this problem was later remedied in EQ with the slash copy layout command, but P99 being what it is, this command is not available and will never be available as the patch that introduced it is beyond the projected timeline of the server. So if you want to quickly and easily copy your perfectly placed and aligned interface from one character to another, complete with all your hotkeys and chat filter settings, then this is how you have to do it. To start with, you'll want to create the character first. This of course being because finding a name that hasn't been taken can be a chore in and of itself on P99 because the server has been running for some time now, and there is no limit on the number of counts a person can make. Needless to say, a lot of the names you think are clever and original, they have been taken. However, if you are fairly certain that your character's name has not been taken, then you can do these steps prior to character creation, and when the character logs in for the very first time, their UI will already be in place. This is the character that I plan to take my UI from. Though I could just as easily use any character on any of my accounts because they all use this method to ensure that I have one UI across all of my characters. You can see here that I have multiple chat windows arranged and I have the chat filters set up to split up the chat spam into the relevant windows. You can also see a number of hotkeys and macros that I have made for this character and many others. Now some of these macros are not useful from one character to the next, such as this cannibalization macro that I use on my shaman. But this is simply a matter of erasing this macro on the new character or just changing it to something more useful. You will also notice on the new character that it copies over the configuration of the hotbars from the previous character and as such you may have hotkeys for abilities that this character does not actually have access to and they will not be functional. So it is just a matter of clearing out the hotkeys to make room for more useful things. The actual process for doing this is quite simple. First you want to navigate to your EverQuest folder, which for me is on my C drive. It has been recommended by many people to avoid installing EQ to the programs folder. Once in the folder, you want to search for the name of the character that you intend to copy. And there will be two files that we are looking for. The first will be the UI file, which is labeled as UI underscore character name underscore project 1999 Dot I and, I. and the second file is similarly named character name underscore project 1999.ini. You will want to copy both of these files to your desktop or a place that is convenient for you. Once there, you will want to rename both of these files by replacing the character name portion of the file name that is present with the character name that is having its UI replaced. Once this is done, you can either cut or copy these two files back into your EQ directory and opting to replace the existing files when prompted. I personally keep a copy of these two files on my desktop so that all I have to do is insert the new character's name and then copy the two files into the directory, skipping the first minor steps of having to copy the files out of the EQ directory in the first place. This is of course entirely up to you. With that done, you will need to restart your client in order for these changes to take effect. If you're using WinEQ, a third-party program that allows EQ to run in a window, a link will be in the description if you're interested, you don't need to restart it as restarting the client is sufficient. 
And there you have it. If you have followed these simple steps, then you should see your custom UI in all its glory in exactly the places it should be, and without having to painstakingly rearrange everything by hand. I know this has saved me a ton of headache because I am very particular about my UI arrangement and even the slightest misalignment screams at me to be remedied. If you found this tutorial helpful, then I would greatly appreciate a thumbs up and leave a comment telling me how awesome I am. Also, share the video with your friends and try to convince them to come play one of the best MMOs ever made, and probably one of the main reasons any MMOs exist at all today. The graphics are dated, the content is brutal, and at no point will this game ever hold your hand, which is exactly what makes this game such a treasure, and the reason it is still vastly successful 18 years later. The current P99 server boasts an average player base of over 1200 players during peak times, and typically up to 500 players during the off hours. There are a host of guilds to suit all playstyles, from the ultra casual to the hardcore neckbeard. If you are looking for a bit of nostalgia, give Project 1999 a shot. And that's going to do it for me. I hope to see you guys around Norath, and as always, I hope you have a very nice day.